Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at a totally free data recovery software to help you recover permanently deleted files. Now, finding free data recovery software is pretty difficult. There's probably only a couple of them that I actually know of, and this one is one of them. Most of the free data recovery software programs you can download have a limited amount of data that you can recover, but this one allows you to recover all of the data you can see here, recover media files from office files to zip files, JPEGs, PDF files, documents, MP3s, zip files, etc. You can recover from an SSD, a hard drive, USB, or even memory card. Works with Windows 10, Windows 11, also NTFS, FAT, FAT32, XFAT, and also other versions as well. So basically, if you've lost data, and you want to recover it, then you can give this program a go. Now, there's no guarantee that this is going to work on all data recovery projects, but I'll show you what you can do if you want to use this software to try and recover your data for free without paying any money because it's 100% free. So I've got a USB flash drive here I'm going to try and recover data on. You can see the drive is completely empty. There's no data on this drive, and we're going to try to recover data on here uh, maybe some images and some video footage and maybe a zip file or something like that. So let's go ahead and get this installed. I've downloaded the program already. Now this one is the GUI based uh, interface, whereas the one you can download from the Microsoft Store is basically all commands, whereas this makes it a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and select the drive that we want to try to recover data from. This one here is the one we're going to be using, which is the E drive, which is named storage in capital letters. Now, like I said before, this could be an SSD, a mechanical drive, or it can be a micro SD card or anything like that. And you can then try to recover data on it. So save to is where we're going to save our data. Now it can't be on the same drive that you're recovering data from. So I'm going to choose a different drive and put it into a folder called recovered. And we're going to be putting it onto there. Now scanning mode is set to deep scan by default. And this is the method we're going to be using here. In the advanced section, there is a, a few settings here. Sector, uh, started sector is zero and number of sectors. So it's going to scan the whole drive and recover the data on all of that drive that it finds. So let's go ahead and run a scan and let this run. Now, depending on the size of the drive or whatever it is you're trying to recover data on, will determine how long it takes and how fast uh, it can read that drive and recover the data from it. So this is a USB flash drive. You can see it's taking around about 15 minutes or give or take. It will go up and down, but just be patient and let it finish its scan. It's going to do a deep scan, so it will take a fair bit of time. So now it's finished and it's found 957 files uh, and it's managed to recover them and store them in the recovered folder that I have on the other drive here. And you can see it's got a recovery log here, and it's also got folders called JPEG, MP3, MP4, PDF, PNG, and ZIP. It's separated these out, and I'll show you what the recovery log looks like here so you can see it. And this is what it's recovered. So it's recovered a bunch of files here in each of these folders, and we'll take a look at them. Now you can see it hasn't uh, kept the actual names of the files, it's just named them uh, numbers. And this is very unfortunate because it will make uh, recovering this data a little bit more difficult because you won't know what the actual uh, name is. But it will give you the actual image if you put these on large images here. So I can already see it's recovered an image that I deleted on here and formatted. And I can already see that it's recovered these uh, video files which I wanted to recover uh, from this drive. Now these have been on the drive for quite a while and I did format it a few times here to see whether it would be able to recover. Now it's managed to do that. So there we go. The data has been recovered and they do work, which means they're not corrupted, which is a good thing. So going to PDF here, you can see it's recovered some PDF files on this drive as well. And you can open these up and they do work. So that's good. So we know it's recovered PDF files. Let's go ahead and uh, see what else it's recovered. And let's just take a quick look inside the images folder here and see whether it's recovered these images. These are thumbnails for YouTube that I had on this drive. There's loads of other data on this drive as well. But as you can see here, right down the bottom here, there's a bunch of other images that I'm not concerned about. 
But these are the ones here which I am concerned about, which is these ones. And you can see it's recovered these and they open perfectly fine with no corruption. Now, if you are recovering data, it's important to remember is whatever you're trying to recover data from is to stop using that device immediately and try to recover the data from it as soon as possible. The longer you leave it, the less chance you're going to have of recovering that data on that device. Also, if you start to overwrite the drive using cleaning or scrubbing software like Bleachbit or something like that, then you're probably never going to be able to recover data on that drive using this method. It's just not going to be possible. So if you are looking to recover data, which is 100% free, this is the only method that you're going to be able to use. And there is also some other software you can use, which I'll show you in a second called Recover. Uh, but you can see it has recovered this zip file as well with data on it. And this drive has been used a few times since it's been formatted. It's been formatted a bunch of times and it's still managed to recover data on it, which is pretty good. Uh, so it's been a pretty uh, successful data recovery. Uh, the other one I wanted to talk about is this one here called Recover or Recover. Uh, it's basically a free version you can download and try to use to recover data. So if you've lost data on your drive or micro SD card or something like that, and you want to try to recover data on it, then you can use these free options. Uh, they're not the best at recovering data, but they are free. And people always ask me about free data recovery software. So these are your two options. These are the only two that I know are completely 100% free, which will allow you to recover all of the data on your chosen device. Now, if it doesn't work and you can't seem to get your data back, then you may need to buy some software. And the best one to buy for me is the Get Data Back. You can use this to try to recover data from that drive, or there is other ones out there which are paid as well, which have been pretty successful for. I'm not gonna go through all of them in this video, but basically, they're the ones that you can use to try to recover data for free. If that doesn't work, you might want to try the paid option. And if that doesn't work, you'll need to take it to a paid specialist to try and get that back using hardware methods. Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then give it a thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments section below what your favorite software is if you've used date recovery software before and how successful it was i'll be interested to read your comments down below also just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support we have a special tier three shout out going to per nielsen phil clark dna gecko w bushnack albert houston pc repair tech gary belts james cobb at rock and roll rebel welsh tony one david lees edward kelly celtic lad mike bigness jedi buddhist and geo sam i really do appreciate the support I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.